Hi guys, it is an absolutely uh, spectacularly gorgeous. It is a 45 degree now, a 45 degree May 12th. It is Wednesday, May 12th, 2023. 45 degrees. It is 31 degrees colder than it was 24 hours ago, and we are heading down another 20 degrees. Pretty much a hard freeze, hopefully the last time I see frost on my damn pumpkin till October. So I'm uh, heading up to the Amish folks to get my curtains and some final two by fours for the screen porch and the solar panels. So we are <clears throat> racing the clock for our grand opening at uh, at uh, Bugs in a Jar next week. So anyway, I, I got this email last night from this fellow. I guess he is, I don't think he's a Humpty Dumpty Tribes member. I think he's a fan, or well, not anymore, a former, now a former fan of that little eco pussy over at Collapse Chronicles. So anyway, I think that's where he... Uh, knows bugs in a jar for him so he he sends me an email <clears throat> that he wants to come visit uh, he he wants to come visit he wants to come on a weekend and he wants to uh, he, he, he was just basically telling me that he had a pit bull a I'm sorry, a mixed pit bull. And he said, Sancho Panza and his mixed pit bull would have a blast. So letting me know that he wanted to come on the weekend and he was bringing his mixed pit bull so uh, his, his mixed pit and Sancho could have a blast together. So I emailed him back as nice as I could, uh, you know, letting him know that, and this is anyone else listening to this, that weekends are not a good time for, you know, fellow doomers to come visit because that's when I am so busy at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So if you do come to visit this summer, and I hope you do, uh, aim for the middle of the week. I'm actually going to be closed on Tuesday and Wednesday nights. To, you know, the Airbnb is going to be closed on Tuesday and Wednesday nights. So I will always have all three tiny houses available. So if you do come visit, come on Tuesday and Wednesday night. And the other thing is leave your fucking pit bull at home. And I, I told the guy, so in his email, he, he, you know, he's just telling me he's bringing the mixed pit bull for he and Sancho to have a blast together. And he goes, I am not one of those pit bull morons. I had never heard the term pit bull moron, but I kind of like the term pit bull moron. Uh, because anybody who owns a pit bull is a moron so you know it's somewhat redundant pit bull moron uh anybody owning one of these fucking dogs is a fucking moron uh so he's saying you know he's not one of these pit bull morons and so i emailed him back you know and told him the weekend went good but i said you know and also dude uh the thing with the pit bull, it just, it just ain't gonna work. I have two rules at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Two two rules. You know, I am a dog-friendly Airbnb and hip camp. Uh, I have two rules. Number one, no amplified music. You can't be cranking up your music in your tiny house when we've got two other groups. You know what I'm saying? So no amplified music. And the number two rule in my dog-friendly uh, Airbnb is no pit bulls, no exceptions. No pit bulls, no exceptions, all cap, exclamation point, 
do not show up at Bugs in a Jar with a fucking pit bull, a, an American bulldog, a Staffordshire terrier, whatever the fuck you want to call those things. I don't know what all these little tiny houses back here are. I'm afraid they're veal houses is what I think these things are. And uh, so anyway, I, uh, I emailed him back that he was welcome during the week, but uh, I told him that his mixed pit bull and Sancho were not going uh, to be a match because he was not bringing his pit bull because there were no pit bulls allowed. And you can imagine the, uh, the email I got back, you know, talking about what, what am I? I? I am a sad old man. I am a sad old man with a closed mind. And stubborn. I say, I am a sad, stubborn old man uh, with a closed mind. And I uh, don't know about the sad or not, but uh, I am a stubborn old man with a closed mind about fucking pit bulls and I uh, had a second email from him this morning so what I did I sent him that rant that I did a few weeks ago down there in Texas about fucking pit bulls that we need to round up they need to round up every motherfucking pit bull on this planet put a bullet through its fucking head every pit bull and every dog pound needs to be euthanized today and after that's done uh, we need to go out track them down and kill every motherfucking pit bull on this planet so I sent him that uh, rant and got a one word email back from him bye so uh, he proved a, a, a you know about pit bull morons you know you tell someone what the rule is at your own house they don't fucking respect you and uh, because you make a rule at your own fucking house all right we got the Guernsey cow here to be honest place there is more fossil fuels you see the big ass the giant propane tank uh what the hell is this fossil fuel we have this fossil fuel thing here we have one two three four i'm looking at four fossil fuel tractors they have a fossil fuel powered uh, sawmill so these are the dead hemlock trees uh, I bet some of those were monsters there you go a pile of dead hemlock trees getting cut up in a uh, in a fossil fuel powered sawmill the logs were cut down with fossil fuels, loaded onto a flatbed logging truck, moved here on fossil fuels, uh, sliced up into lumber using a fossil fuel lumber mill. They're going to be stacked on a trailer hooked up to a fossil fuel powered tractor which is going to deliver my dead hemlock trees and then I'm going to put them on a fossil fueled gator to get them up the hill and uh, so whenever these Amish guys want to go somewhere they uh, hook up their horse to their buggy uh, this is what uh, that fine looking Ford 7000 tractors bringing me my boards tomorrow. Man, I gotta go burn some fossil fuels while I still can. Bye guys.